Thank you to all of the media that's here today, too. This is something that's very near and dear to our hearts. You know, according to the Rockefeller Institute of Government, New York experienced a record number of overdose deaths in 2020 with nearly 5,000 residents losing their lives to this horrific epidemic. For all of us here today, that is not just a number. Those are real people, real New Yorkers who lost their lives to an epidemic that was fueled in part by the industry's greed and negligence. For me, I always think about all of the parents and siblings I have met over the years who have shared their heartbreaking losses and have come to Albany time after time to plead with lawmakers to do more to ensure that no other families suffer the way theirs have. Today, thanks to the work of Attorney General Tish James, the families, New Yorkers in recovery, and local leaders across the state, we have a once in a generation opportunity to reverse these statistics and save lives. But the state is already squandering it as it seeks to circumvent the lockbox law that gives these stakeholders a real voice in the process. If we actually want to make a difference and more effectively put these historic resources to use, we have to start by listening, something government fails to do, to those with lived experiences and experts in addiction and recovery, not backroom bureaucrats. With the COVID-19 epidemic only exasperating an already devastating crisis, all of us here today realize that when it comes to combating the scourge of opioids, time is of the essence and every single day matters. No amount of money is ever going to bring back the New Yorkers we lost to this epidemic, but these settlement funds are an acknowledgement of the wrongdoing that played a role in their struggle, and we have a duty to ensure that they are used to truly prevent further loss. Last year, the lockbox legislation passed unanimously, as my colleagues have mentioned, with full bipartisan support. Our loved ones do not have an R or a D attached to them when, this, when they're going through these epidemics. Today, we are calling on our colleagues in the legislature to maintain their commitment to this cause, reject any plan that turns the settlements into yet another slush fund, and help ensure that the advisory board is fully appointed and active so these dollars can be put to work to help save lives. Thank you.